world of YouTube, Dream Cry, and whatever site. Everything else was asked to do this case. Straight from down under Australia, mate. Although I'm not good with the Australian accent. I haven't perfectioned that one yet. <laughs> but in all seriousness, yes, this is one baffling case. And, um, there's a man named Shane Bond. <laughs> one of them related to the Bond murderer out here. Killed their daughter, Bella Bond. But supposedly he's been acquitted, and a new suspect has arised. <clears throat> but you know what? Based on this reading on this case, wow. Yeah, this is one crazy case. Because this Shane Bond is one, I would say, deranged sounding man. And, um, first off, I'd like to say, for anybody that, um, says they have an epilepsy fit and, uh, bite their tongue, and supposedly he bled all over himself, the first thing I'd be doing to that guy is to see if he does have epilepsy. I mean, seriously. Because that is what he claimed had happened when he came home the night this poor girl was murdered. Murdered. Supposedly there's two other men that might have been involved in this. But their names are not mentioned in this article. And of course I bring this article up and I'm going to put it right in the description. Because for the simple fact. Someone, somebody, now before everybody goes off their rocker, and I give out my thoughts, theories, and ideas on this case, I'm only going on based of what I read in this article. And that's right, just what's happened in this article. <clears throat> and I'm going to read some other stuff. Of course, I do always uh, go to... Wikipedia, but I figured I'd try out this article first, and someone had mentioned something about the author of this did not read a book that had came out, or read something, which you'll see at the end of this, in the comments or whatnot, and just because he didn't read that, they think that his thoughts and theories, now that's the author in this article are not correct but so far what I've gotten from this story is that there's either Shane or one of the two of the men had an identical vehicle of one seeing leaving the murder scene of course Shane was supposedly covered in blood Meaning arms, legs, shirt, pants, everything. And like I said, all he said, I had an epilepsy attack. Bit my tongue. But you want to know something? And this is pretty damn accurate. Because I experienced someone who bit their tongue. Gotten like five stitches in it and all I can say is I can't say who it was but I will say this that I was there when this happened and uh, this the amount of blood that was said to be on this guy Shane Mr. Bond was so um you know so soaked soaked with blood 
I think this guy is full of crap. Because, like I just said, I, I witnessed someone who had bit their tongue, five stitches, and you think in the cut that big in the tongue, and it wasn't due to an epilepsy attack, but still, five stitches in a tongue. Now, I've bitten my tongue before and drew a little blood. And it wasn't because of an epilepsy. I was chewing something in my... For some reason, my mouth went... My teeth went one way. And I sliced my tongue. I'm like, ooh, blood. Yeah. Come to suck your blood. <laughs> Come Dracula. One, one hole in the tongue. Ah, ha, ha. No. <laughs> in all seriousness. Um... So this guy, I know, didn't have that much blood. And it, it wasn't that severe where it was all over his clothing, all over his arms, and that's all I'll say. It wasn't no soaked, covered blood all over the body and soaked into the clothing. But how does one get acquitted? is the question. And how does one drive away in the same vehicle, identical vehicle, same place, same time, and just, oh, get what he gets and then gets released. It is very, very, you know, a shady story with shady people, but they supposedly have a new suspect. So I'm definitely going to keep up on this case. Because with that being said, new suspect. And this one has a million dollar reward on it. And I'll tell you one thing also, being a journalist, um, sometimes is not a good thing. Don't get me wrong, I've never been a journalist, but when you talk about certain things, I'm not a journalist, but hell, I like to talk about certain things. And journalists, if they do it correctly, right, and don't bring the fake news, that's right. People want to hear the truth. People want to know things. Just like me, I like to know things and... If it involves women beaters, killers, rapists, child molesters, killers, rapists on them, then I have no damn, no damn regrets on being a little, I don't care, call me a snitch. But when them kind of people come about, and when them kind of people, what I just mentioned, you know, uh-uh, I don't dig it. I don't like it. And I like to pursue the pursuit, as the famous ST Justice or Smokey and the Bandit, Jackie Gleason, would say, pursue the pursuit. <laughs> You're damn right. And when you got men like this, scumbags that like to hunt and prey on innocent women and take their lives, especially children, you know what, that don't, that don't fly right in my book. People should be accountable for and more investigated into. Now, mind you, just like the John Benet Ramsey case. Oh, yeah. This case had one of the best detectives on it. And I guess he... It says in the article what happened to him, but I you think he's very disappointed in himself. Because who wouldn't be? 
this detective thought he had his man. Because not only did he find out this guy was in the, you know, whether or not he was in the same building. Oh, there was one of the guys was dating a woman. Not the murder victim, but another woman, I believe, that knew the murder victim. And um, lived right behind her in a flat. So with that being said, and uh, three men, you know, supposedly suspects, and one of them got charged for it, but then released. And so it makes you wonder, what was missed? Or what was, you know, not properly investigated always leaves your mind baffling as this says is right so I'll tell you to read stuff like this and you had a suspect but yet everything in the description box matches everything is right and the question is did they ever test the friggin' blood to find out if this was the right suspect? What happened to the guy's clothes? It don't even say. So you mean to tell me this guy says I have an epi epilepsy fit and they believe him and didn't even do that? The blood wasn't sampled? He was soiled in it? What are the mistakes? I think the body wasn't found. But yet, don't check the car. That was identical to the one seen. However this went down, it's just, oh, wow. And I don't know, like I say, I gotta, I gotta read more articles on this. But I figured I'd show everybody this article first. Because, like, that's, that's right, that's what I like to do. And believe me, when everybody sits in and starts saying, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how to do this. You gotta, you gotta remember, I am going off of what I read. And already there's a mistake in this, what someone says about this author not reading something about the case. And there is a title, I say, I'm only going to say it's a book. But right, whatever the case may be, this guy is saturated with blood, but nobody has, um, you know, ever tested that blood. I gotta, I gotta go through the story more. But just reading that first article, the first one, and the lousy information in it. You know, it doesn't say a lot of details, but, like, all the guys saturated with blood, clothes here, blood there. But right, was that tested to see if that was the victim's blood? And then the vehicle. Just makes no sense. No sense. But anyways, I'm going to dig a little more on this. I'm definitely going to keep my eye open on this case because it is very interesting. Because when you add somebody and then they're getting out of jail, it's like, oh, man, what the? And, of course, this new suspect, don't say nothing about it. So I got to keep digging a little deeper. Read a, more, a few more articles. Oh, I gotta join the um, page here. Can't do it right now because my stupid phone. It's data is screwing up. I don't know what the phone company's doing with my data, but I can't do much things without the data. I'm really getting aggravated with it. I like to take my god danging phone to boost. Tell them, hey, better fix my goddamn data. 
I'm gonna have to get me. Shove a straw up their freaking nose. That's right. But anyways. Crazy case here. Wish I could make it to Australia to get the the real scoop, but something came up. I went out with the wife the other night. Cousins wanted the wife, her cousins wanted my wife to go out. I met a guy, and I'm not gonna say too much. But the only thing I will say is there's a crime app, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to download on an Android piece of crap phone. But um, it brings you to the, it, it can bring you to the literally the crime scenes of murders. So it's like, whoa. I have to look into that and more information on that. Bear with me. I gotta squeeze through a fence and see what it's all about. See if it even works. Because there's some crime scenes I like to look at in this area, especially right here in Lemonster. Or as people that don't come from, me from here call it Leo, Leo Minster. <laughs> hey, Leo Minster! Sound like a damn name. Leo Minster. Yeah, that's right. So anyways, I want to get some more on this case. This article, I believe, came out last year. And I was talking about seven years before this, so this year will make eight years. And who knows what else is out there on this case that is either wrong or... Misread any if the new suspect is any of interest, you know, just like the Delphi murder, we have that newest uh, POI, but oh my lord, nothing still, nothing. Everybody is very angry with their new POI because nothing is. I'm friggin' angry. You gotta, you got a suspect, like I said in one of my other videos. Keep it to yourself. Don't get the damn world all friggin' or anybody on this case up in an uproar. You know, because you have a POI and he might be the guy, but a few months later say, oh, never mind. He's just being, you know, interviewed. And he's gonna be interviewed. That's all we got. Keeping an eye on him. Yeah, that's right. Keeping an eye on him. An eye on what? An eye on your toilet overflowing and you have no plunger to unplunge your, unplunge your toilet that's full of what? Full of number two? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't want to hear you're full of toilet of number two. No one want to see you sit there with no plunger to get all the BS out. You're ridiculous. Stop putting stuff up with no plunger. Because if you can't clean that toilet out and put the suspect where he belongs and the poop hangs around, well, guess what? That means you have a stinky bathroom with stinky... Idiots hanging around and waiting for the uh, poop to go down because of your BS to you put on the damn internet. That's right. You get that BS. So until that next video, I'm sure I have a few more on this case. Be safe. Take care. Always beware. And if this Shane Bond is out, well, you can just imagine what he's going to do next. Because if he got acquitted, and if he did do this rightfully, what do you think he's going to do with the next person? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. You're sick. 
wind's picking up. Gotta get it off the air. Be safe, people. Before I get blown away to Australia, mate. <laughs> Ow! Oh, wait, ow!